guys i have something for you i bet you haven't seen this before this is a solar generator okay for a lot of persons who have tried installing solar in their house they will tell you solar installation is very expensive before you get batteries uh, you get the panels you get the charge controller you get the inverters it has run into millions okay i present to you a more affordable solution and that is your solar generators this particularly is one of the best you will find online at the moment and why because it powers all the basic load in your house if you have a one bedroom apartment a two bedroom apartment as the case may be the rest are assured most of the items or most of the household equipment uh, appliances you have in your apartment it will be well powered and sorted out okay for reference points petrol is 1300 as at today if you are someone that use petrol regularly for your generators and maybe perhaps you buy petrol of 10,000 layer a day or 10 liters as the case may be 10 liters would cost you 13,000 naira now so why do you need this because you'll be able to buy cut use of generator as well let's start guys uh this is how beautiful the solar generator is as you can see this is the dashboard these are various components of course in due course we'll explain how it uh, works and then looking from this end we have ports for the solar panel and the main power breaker and of course we have ports for uh, standard batteries just in case for some reason you want to use this solar generator far more than the required time stated on this solar generator you just need to add a 12 volt uh, battery and of course you can use your generator for a longer period of time without wasting much of your time we will diverge into how this work and of course We'll use it to power some basic appliances here before i forget this is the 230 ac output uh this is the ac input this is exactly where you charge the solar generator this solar generator uses lights to charge it that is ac to charge it and of course it can use the solar panel that is attached to it to charge it not wasting your time this is how it works check this out and then of course it comes with a manual which is expected now looking from this end to power this solar generator all you need to do is to put this on okay now we have put on generally the solar generator but then of course before we can use the ac output of it we put this on okay okay the display is working this is how the display is right now okay it is working it's telling you right now that it is giving out an ac output of 228 volts okay if we take this before then this is how the battery works the battery then to the inverter and of course to ac which is the lighting point this lighting point represents your ac load which could be your television fans and the rest okay let's take this down a little the battery is currently 100 percent capacity as you can see um clearly 50 hertz that is the hertz required the frequency required for appliances in this part of the world the load is zero percent okay you see the load is zero percent that's because we haven't powered the solar generator we haven't powered any load yet and that's the beauty of this all Whatever load you add to your generator, you can observe it. When it gets to 100%, it tells you you don't need to add any other load to it. And that is, in fact, the beauty of this solar generator. Rarely do you find other solar generator that has this, um, the capacity to do all this. Okay, right now we are not charging it. And that's why there is no um, lighting here. If we were charging it from the sun, you will observe there's a lighting here. If we're charging it from our mains which happens to be our ac our light from nepa or from our generator you would observe there is a light here and of course because of how beautiful it was designed it will also tell you if there is a fault and this fault could come as a result of overload of this system so it is highly essential you take cognizance of this and do not load the solar generator beyond the 500 watts that it's supposed to load and now of course we have the dc on okay how does this function you know basically 
uh, we have a lot of loads that are AC in our house, and we also have these these loads that are DC. Especially when you see fans like DC fans, DC lighting points, and the rest. So if you have something like that in your apartment and you want to use that, of course those consume less um it's less voltage okay it consumes less voltage so if you have something like that in your house all you need is to put this on and this sign pops up it now shows you a dc working so at that point you can charge your phones using this port this phone port you can equally charge uh, you can even equally put on your lighting points with this port four of them okay that is how this function i'll put it off now and then it has gone back off if you want to charge this system all you need to do is to take this solar charge just assume you want to charge with your solar panel of course the solar panel comes with this i've said this before a solar panel comes with this if you want to charge with your solar panel you put this to the solar charge if you want to charge with your mains which is light from nepa you take this to ac charge so that is how that functions now how does this part functions this is where you connect your solar panel a solar panel will be given to you all you just need to do is to connect to the positive and the negative it is not difficult at all and there is what we tag here external battery what this means is you may want to use this solar generator for longer run time because of course you may use and then the battery may have died down after usage for long hours you may want to use for longer run time all you just need to do is to connect an extra 10 volt battery and the extra 10 volt battery we are talking about looks like this okay an extra 10 volt battery like that of course will power your house appliances for a very long time okay this is what we have here now let's go practical let's test our load on it we have talked about how it works we have talked about the different function of different parts now let's test our load on it right here we have a newer um, fan this fan is low consumption fan is a 10 um, watts fan of course we have other fans which it can equally power as well then what we need to do now is just to put this adapter we need to put this adapter okay putting the adapter we fix this and voila the fan is working look at the fan guys easy peasy just the way you've been able to power the fan with it that is how you can equally power your lighting point with it is as easy as a b c now we've tested that what else do we need to test let's test this part that gives out dc like we rightly stated okay this is a dc light this is this particular light didn't come with this but of course it's dc it's built to receive dc power so we test it out and see if it will work okay uh, you have to put on this and of course it's working now as you can see so basically that is how it functions at different ports it work you can move it to the last port it will work any port you put it it works guys so that is how this function is such a beautiful system to have especially for those who needs um 24 hours supply or for those who are tired of buying petrol for their generators this is what you need if you cut down the cost of buying petrol daily and sum everything up for a month in three months buying petrol will be able to sort this out why not sort this out now and enjoy electricity for your house guys if you want to get this it's easy as abc just check on the number below the screen and shut us up immediately we can deliver anywhere in nigeria even as far as other parts of the world anyway i'm kidding with that but if you shut us up we'll get this delivered to you asap we've sold a lot of materials like this and of course there is no need to fear our authenticity we'll get to you in no time peace guys we expect you guys